I think we must do more to restrict the spread and the production of weapons of mass destruction and their stocks. And let me say there are a number of things I could say about that, but just if I might just make three points. One is uh, I think the president did the right thing to go to the UN on Iraq. I don't think Iraq should be allowed to keep whatever international, I mean, any, whatever chemical, biological, and nuclear stocks or missile stocks it has. The world community decided in 1991 that Saddam Hussein should not have weapons of mass destruction or the, or the missiles to deliver them. We decided that rather than do, having another war and deposing him, and this was before my presidency, the appropriate thing to do would be to have inspections and sanctions on him until he could prove that he didn't have anything else. Uh, then when he threw the inspectors out, we moved to a policy of saying that we ought to replace him, um, that our, our preference would be for a new leader in Iraq that could be uh, less of a murderer, less of a thug, and more a truthful partner in the world. But we didn't call for invading him. Now. It's been four years since the inspections were working until they started again. Those inspections, you should know, with all the problems we had, destroyed far more weapons, weapons stocks, and missiles, and component parts than the Gulf War did. The inspection system can work. It's starting again. My belief is that uh, Saddam Hussein has, if he does have something, he has maximum incentive, incentive now not to use or give it away, so we ought to let the inspection process go forward and, and follow the lead of uh, the UN inspectors. Now, I do believe, let me say this, I do believe the crease in this argument that has been very little uh, commented on, at least in the United States, is this. Every one of these UN uh, resolutions, going back to 1991, has had two parts, not one. So every one of these resolutions from the beginning has said, inspections, unrestricted inspections, number one. Number two, he has to declare what he's got. Don't make the inspectors go look for a needle in a haystack. And every time that this has been done since 1991, the inspections have been more or less unrestricted depending on the time and the moment, but he's never told the truth in the declaration. And that's what uh, Prime Minister Blair was talking about yesterday in his, his press conference in London, which some of you may have seen. I do not know whether, uh, what the facts are here. I just think we ought to let the inspection process play out to maximize the support of the global community for whatever is done next. And I'll come back to that, why I think that's important. So I don't agree with those who think that it doesn't matter and we shouldn't do anything to get rid of these weapons of mass destruction. And I don't agree with those who think that it matters so much we should put all of our other security problems on the black burner and go alone after Saddam Hussein. I think we're right about where we need to be now, and I think we need to let this process play out in the, in the international forum. We have no reason to believe these inspectors are not doing a good job and not trying to find the truth.